As you can see, Robert's doing a little cleanup. The other day, I put together some potting soil and put it in containers and put them up here on this shelf. And the winds, when they push on this cattle panel stuff, they shake it just enough to sort of shove the trays back and forth, and then they eventually fall. So we're going we're gonna to try to find a way to. Uh, take care of that today because we need to use these shelves but thank you Robert for cleaning that up <laughs> come on stop it got any words no come on Robert say something I'm silent but deadly uh, it's dry in here again wow I just watered this dry the bone well there's a little bit of moisture under there, but... Yeah, I'm, I think I'm not going to leave these up here. Well, I have a piece of wood that I think I will tie to the front of this so that they can't shake off the front. It'll it'll uh, keep them in place. So I think, I think it'll be okay. And then if we can put some larger uh, pots and things like that down there, it might help even more. But we'll see. Mm -hmm. We shall see. So, all these done. All right. Oh. Okay. Another windy day. <laughs> uh, here in the middle of the greenhouse, toward the outside, we're putting in a compost pile. Two reasons. One is a compost pile, an active compost pile, provides CO2 that the plants can really enjoy which is a common problem for greenhouses they're all you know closed up and so they can't get proper co2 from the atmosphere but this can help with that the other thing it'll do is hopefully provide a little bit of heat at night for when the temperature goes way down help mitigate the temperature in here provide a little warmth compost ball good active compost pot can get as high as 161 degrees i think so we laid a tarp down and that was robber's idea good idea robber uh to uh to uh help hold in some moisture because as you know the real real dry area and retaining moisture is hard even in this greenhouse so uh anyway robber's about to dump a bunch of wood chips we'll air it in brown and green you know like you should brown being the carbon green being the nitrogen from oh veggies and stuff like that so anyway she's gonna put it in go for it robber get him we'll spread that around water it really well we'll water every layer as we put it in water it really well and then we will uh dump a bunch of kitchen scraps and stuff we've been saving in there in this bucket is a bunch of nasty cuss word cuss word stuff What's in there? Uh, ricotta, lemon, look at a nasty, gross cucumber, a bunch of... Rotten coffee grounds, coffee vegetable grounds, cuttings. Nasty crap. <laughs> uh, so you want to... Next layer will be that. Oh, it's all right. Uh, it just went down into the water. I'll have to spread it around. There's a rake right there. There's not much. You spread it around. Green material. I like David the Good. I, I hope you watch his channel. He's got a lot of good gardening information. Um, David, David the Good's philosophy is compost everything. In fact, he wrote a book on it. I encourage you to go check out his channel. But hey, he encourages composting absolutely everything. Maybe there's too much water. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. That's okay. That, that's quite all right. It'll soak in. That's about um, now the next thing that would, if we had it, the next thing that would help would be uh, kitty litter to add a little clay to make the soil hold together a little better. We don't have any of that though. We can get it and add it next time. 
You know, maybe the next thing would be just to put a, just add a, a fine, not a lot, but just a fine layer of soil to it to help uh, bulk it up a little bit. And uh, see, the shells are moving. Anyway, we'll do that next and then we'll cover it and let it just sort of percolate for a while. We definitely need more uh, nitrogen to stick in here though. So one thing that was recommended to me by a nursery to help jumpstart compost, because it's real hard to do in this dry climate, is to add a little bit of dry molasses. It's the, um, it's just the, uh, you know, the organic material from the sorghum plant. And uh, it, um, they, they say it's really good at attracting the kind of critters that like to grow in compost. So I, I don't think it takes much, it'll just add a little bit. I'll also put this in other things like potting soil garden. Since I have a ton of it, I've been collecting it for weeks. Coffee grounds. Been uh, going to the local uh, Starbucks. And uh, they, of course, they offer this. And they give it away free. All their old used coffee grounds. As a, uh, you know, so people can put them in their garden. And this provides some good nitrogen to start. So... Another thing you could do, and I won't show it on video, and I, I won't do it in here, is uh, urine. Oh. Urine is an excellent source of nitrogen. Well, if I would have known that, I'd peed in here earlier. <laughs> what about okay, yeast? Nitrogen. Could you put yeast in it? Well, yeast is one of those critters that will help break compost down, aerobically and anaerobically. Um, but. No, I mean, there was already some stuff in the first batch of green. There was already some growth yeah. uh, starting to occur there. So it's probably enough to get a start. And uh, we'll just take it from there. Because one of the problems, as you know, that we've been having with our humid air composting is uh, even dumping moisture on it, I can't seem to get it started. Uh, the, uh, the bacteria, it's just such a dry climate. It's not like there's any ambient bacteria here, you know, that'll just glom onto that and start growing. It's just, it's well, really difficult. You could move the humanure compost into here. Yeah, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For the ornamentals, but I don't think we'll try it on the food. Unless, I wouldn't do it on the food, unless I know that I can get it to break down, which has been a real chore. It's been difficult to do out here, so... Okay, so the moisture has uh, soaked into that pretty well. Next thing I'll do is just take a thin layer of dirt, throw it in there and cover it over. Let it do its thing. 